Hey, hello YouTube. I am Karan from India, and this video is a little challenge of 10 minutes to create a digital clock in batch. So, our goal is to create this kind of output on the CMD console. So, as you can see, it is a kind of digital clock, but we are we will create using batch. So, without any delay, let's start with the project. Here this project needs two of the plugins and out of this one is padbox and the other one is typography function. All other files are used by typography function. So these are called as sub plugins. So we will use two primary plugins badbox and typography function. For the sake of saving time I am just copying the plugins folder and let me start the clock first. And now creating a new folder, name it as digital and then pasting the plugins folder. You can see the shortcuts here and let me make it. I will now create a new text document and as you can see I cannot see the extensions here. So let me turn on the extensions, don't hide the extensions. And now it is showing me .txt. So let me rename it as clock.bat. So let's start by coding in Sublime Text Editor. And just write the few usual lines of code. You go off and clear the screen. So now what we need to do is we need to change the path into this files folder. So just change directory to files. Let me make it beautiful using title command. So digital clock. Let me show you the timer along with the code. So as you can see, you can also enjoy code uh, and now as you can also see the timer one minute is almost over so we have to do it fast uh, as you can notice that by updating time we need to update it regularly so directly we need loop so let me create a loop and go to loop Inside this loop, what I'm gonna do is for creating this clock, you need to understand one concept that how to terminate the items in the string that you don't need. For example, let me clear the screen and now if I try to echo the time, as you know that I have not initialized any variable named time so this is a predefined variable like I'm going to use this variable inside this clock project we are creating so if I will press enter and you can see that it has some value inside it so this is hours this is minutes and this is seconds as you can notice in the hour this project it is showing this hours minutes and seconds so after seconds there are milliseconds so I'm skipping this that part because I just need to update the clock only after one second so to skip this part we need to know that this the, it will always be last three digits so one two and three so what I will do is I will write the syntax little complex using 0 comma minus 3 and then if I press enter here and now you have seen that the last three digits or three items has been eliminated from the string so this is how you can handle the strings and manipulate things in batch this is a quite advanced advanced concept of in batch by string manipulating we'll talk about this in a separate video so for the sake of testing time, 
minutes almost four minutes are over so we need to use this syntax in our project so i'm going to copy it and just what i'm gonna do is i'm going to set a variable name time and please notice that the variable name time will not overwrite the predefined variable so because it has a underscore in front of it so let me write this one and and now what we need is we need to call the typography function all these parameters of typography function you will know by reading its usage manual or but just by writing this in front of the typography function or you can also visit www.thebadteam.org for more details so let me do it fast uh let us make console size fixed so so that we can make the text in the middle of the console so calculating the length according to me it should be 18 and 7 so let it be white color so now i'm going to print this and if you are using windows 7 so you can simply write timeout and windows 7 or above you can use this command timeout for delaying the loop for 1 second and then it will go again to loop so let's test this code out i have saved it and now i think the clock is ready oops we forgot one important thing we need to clear the screen each time we we'll print the output because it is overwriting the previous output so let us clear the screen cls and then save it let's try it one once more i think the project is finished so i'm going to stop this for watch and now you can see that our digital clock project is complete on the other hand if you will notice that it is blinking much more than my project that i have created you can compare these thing would happen you can compare these both outputs oops they both are using the same variable so i think this is going to close this file automatically so you can notice this that it is not blinking that much as compared to this file because the project i have created is not using the cls command to clear the screen up i am using a little advanced technique so what i am doing here is just let me open it in sublime and you can notice that what i have done is as the same we have saved this and created the same type of function instead of printing the line i have modified the typography function a little bit for my sake of my project and i have saved the output in the a variable which has white colored output on the console so instead of printing it on white color what i have done is i have printed the i have hidden the old variable old output and then printed the next output on that over it so what i am doing here is i am replacing the ff for white color 200 which is for background color so if you want to see that it is it seems like it is updating very quite nicely but in my code in my code if you will change screen color here color ce let's take it ce and if you will run it now and you can see that here is the flaw 
in the code but the trick trick of showing this nice output will help you in your projects so that's all for now you can download these files from the description and please subscribe to my channel if you like my videos please give give it thumbs up and please comment about what you think of this project thanks for watching bye bye